what determines your self worth what determines your self esteem what factors should you be using to determine the worth of some other person what factors would you want some other person to use to determine your worth let's talk about all of that in today's video hello good people of the internet today's ask a human not an ai episode with chetan naran covers a fascinating question firstly this question has been sitting with me for more than a month now i just somehow could not get to answering it but today i am first of all i want to apologize this was an anonymous question so i i'm not allowed to say the name of the person who asked it but i apologize for not being able to get to it soon enough but now that we are here let's get to it the question is what determines worth is it related to materialistic things such as having a car a house a six figure salary etc or something else i had a discussion with one of my acquaintances and according to him slash her it is related to materialistic things as i mentioned above he or she was trying to convince me to buy materialistic things to increase my worth in people's eyes his or her talk and mindset pissed me off what does this tell about him or her should i stay away from him or her help me out <laughs> i love it how you wanted to be anonymous so you didn't even mention the gender of the person you're asking this question about perfect let's get into it let's firstly talk about the first part of your question what determines worth you know there is some truth to what this person told you that there is worth in terms of the amount of material resources you have or rather in terms of the amount of material resources that you can command not maybe even not right now but in the future which means which stream you are in what do you do during the day what is your day job what what sort of businesses you are engaged in etc which put you on a path where you can command more resources in the future even though right now you do not have too many materialistic things to show there is some worth in that of course there is right i mean if you are a wealthy person if you are a rich person if you have a lot of money if you have a lot of wealth if you have a lot of resources at your command you are worthy in that you can use those resources to actually impact a lot of change a lot of change in the world at large but especially a lot of change in the world in the lives of people around you and therefore it's not absolutely false that these things are worthy they are not worthless they are they're very worthy in fact and this is something that you should realize having said that there is a little nuance here you know we think that these things are the most important things when it comes to measuring the worth of a person i think that is primarily so because that's the way we are taught to view things quite a lot of us but that is also so because maybe this kind of a worth is the only measurable worth around you you know because there is a part of a psyche a definite part of a psyche which wants things to be absolutely quantified measurable and this is one absolutely measurable thing you know if you're trying to determine someone's worth if you're trying to determine your own worth for that matter you can look at the number in your bank account you can look at the number in your net worth and you know this is how much you're worth and therefore there is a part of a psyche which likes things to be quantified which does not want poetic or romantic things or things that are important but cannot be measured and therefore it ignores all of that and then what remains is things that can be quantified and this can be quantified and therefore a lot of people fall prey to this side of their psyche and they start to consider that this is the only thing that they can control this is the only thing that they can measure and therefore this is the only thing that determines their own worth and that determines the worth of other people around them it's not let's talk about some more things that you can consider to determine your own worth and also things that you can consider to determine the worth of some other person one of the primary things that a lot of people use almost always subconsciously when they want to determine the worth of some other person or when they want to gauge some other person is how does that person make them feel now i know this is quite vague but it's absolutely true you remember that age old adage no one remembers what you said no one remembers the exact words you said but almost everyone remembers how you made them feel almost everyone remembers how you made them feel that one day when you met or those dozens of times that you met were you able to make them comfortable were they able to see you as someone they can trust now these things matter a lot and in some sense in a very non quantifiable sort of sense they do determine how worthy you are as a person to that person 
and of course this applies to countless situations we are in right one of the things that i like to use personally is how do how do you treat someone who you you stand nothing to benefit from and another side to it is how do you treat someone who you stand to benefit from are you willing to let them roll over you are you willing to compromise your own boundaries to have that person win so that you benefit out of it eventually all of these things how you treat people around you how you make them feel around you determine how worthy you are i mean a very simple example the last time you let someone rule over you that didn't make you feel too worthy isn't it and that gives you a cue it is a non measurable aspect of how worthy you are how you treat people around you another one that i love to use personally and this is something that i use almost unconsciously now is what do you think about other people what do you think about other life situations what do you think about life in general because almost all of these things the answers that you give to all of these questions tell a lot more about you rather than the things you are being questioned about you know there's a very famous test in psychology which is called a roshak ink blot test which basically means if you have an empty wall let's consider a white wall and you pick up an ink pot and throw it at it throw it at the wall and you let the ink take whatever random shape it does now when the ink dries and when you look at the shape whatever you see on the wall whatever you see in the shape tells a lot more about you than the ink pot than the ink and that's it what you see to be true in other people what you see to be true in world at large in different life situations tells a lot about you and that also helps you determine the worth of some other person because if you are looking for certain values if you know your values you know that people who align with those values are more worthy to you in some sense right again this is non quantifiable but you can see how you can use this to actually determine the worth of a person for you and while we are talking about this another one that comes to my mind is you can determine the worth of a person you can determine your own worth too by determining what motivates you what motivates this other person and also how far is that person or how far are you willing to go to fulfill that motivation to fulfill that intent i'll give you a very simple example almost every politician who's corrupt if you were to sit them and ask them privately what is their motivation behind indulging in any sort of corruption for a lot of them the answer would actually be what is the answer for almost all of us i'm doing this for my family i'm doing this so that my kids are able to afford a good education i'm doing this so that my wife and my my husband or everyone in my family can lead a comfortable life now the motivation is good the intent is good but how far how low are you willing to go to actually fulfill that motivation determines how worthy that person is in your own eyes and it also determines your own self worth you know how how far are you willing to go to actually fulfill the different motivations the different desires you have in your own life what level of self do you operate from in your day to day activities what level of self do you operate from in the big ticket decisions that you have to take in your life you know this reminds me of a beautiful question someone asked me in the early days of ask a human not an ai series the question was is everyone secretly selfish i would highly recommend checking out that video because the answer that came out was a very beautiful one so in a sense there are a lot of things that can determine the worth of a person of course i'm absolutely certain that i haven't considered everything i haven't told you everything that even i would be considering unconsciously when i'm trying to determine my own worth or when i'm trying to determine the worth of some other person in my life but i hope this is a good framework that you can have you know there are some things that are absolutely easily measurable and quantifiable which are the materialistic things how many houses you have what is the amount of salary you draw what is the amount of expected salary you will draw 10 years from now how much money do you have in your bank account how much money did you inherit from your parents etc but there are a whole lot of other things that are absolutely non quantifiable um how soulful you are as a person how joyful you are as a person what level of self do you operate from how you treat other people around you how comfortable people are around you how trustworthy can people think you to be all of those things are non quantifiable but they are hugely deterministic of what your worth should be in someone else's eyes what your worth should be in your own eyes and what someone else's worth should be in your eyes 
and therefore they determine the worth of a person and now on to the second part of your question what does this tell us about that person i think very honestly what you have told me about that person tells very little about them but a lot about you keep hearing me out clearly this person values material success over a lot of other things that's something you know but why does this person do that we will almost we almost stand no chance to know that you know there are some people who have been through a rough childhood in the sense that they didn't have too many material resources to spare that makes them appreciate material success a lot more than others and on the other hand it could also happen that someone has a rough childhood in the sense that they had very little material resources but that actually makes them ap- appreciate the non materialistic things in their life a lot more than someone who had a lot of materialistic things at their disposal and therefore they had almost no time or no value judgment of other things in their life so because we're talking about someone else from your angle we cannot say any more about that person but you can see that this perspective of that person of that person valuing material success over other things pissed you off a lot and it pissed you off enough to actually raise a question with me about it and therefore this tells you that you clearly do not value material success over other things now hold on a minute it could also mean that you are virtue signaling virtue signaling which basically means that you're trying to signal that you are better off than others you are a holier than thou and therefore you don't value money as much as other people do it could be the case but it could also mean that you really honestly do not value money as much as other people only you can say so honestly about yourself i cannot say that about you anyway and therefore just in that sense there is not much else that we can say about that person either only they can say honestly whether they were being honest with you when they were talking about all of these things or not you ask me if you should stay away from that person quite honestly what i would want to say is that you should definitely not marry that person you know because if this perspective pissed you off so much that you raised a question with me very clearly your values do not quite align right now and that is one of the key things that you would want to be aligned on before getting married right just in that sense yes you can try to stay away from that person but having said that i would also want to say that see there are all kinds of people in the world every thought that you have in your mind dormant or expressive even the crazy thoughts even the thoughts you would not want to share with other people each and every one of those thoughts finds expressions in almost all people around you those thoughts may be expressive in some people may be dormant in some people but the difference between a man and man in this kind of a situation is one of degree not of kind now of course what thoughts end up being expressive in some person to what degree may also change the kind of a person they are that's true too but i hope you get the gist the difference between man and man in some sense is one of degree and not of kind and therefore what you need to focus on is to increase your own level of self worth to increase your own level of worth determining determined by all the different factors that we talked about all the different factors that you can think of which determine your own value in your own eyes and someone else's value in your eyes and focus on that don't focus don't be bothered too much by what someone else thinks is more worthy in some person that's their life that's their job they if they want to think about that consciously or unconsciously or in an ignoring ignorant manner or in an aware manner it's their life you should focus on what you think is more worthy in you and that is what you should look to cultivate more you should think what what is more worthy according to you in some other person and that is the kind of a person that you would always be naturally attracted towards anyway and that's it that that is all i would want to say here i hope this gave you something to think about something to act on if it did please share this with your friends and family too and i'll see you in the playground soon again until next time peace out